Today I'm taking a break from Irina Shuvalova's poem cycle to address a different ongoing tragedy. This one, a homegrown American tragedy, insanity. We mourn the dead and injured in the latest attack on the LGBTQI plus community. As last night's poem asked, what the fuck? I've read this poem before. I was hoping to never have to read it again. A Poem for Pulse by Jameson Fitzpatrick Last night I went to a gay bar with a man I love a little. After dinner we had a drink. We sat in the far back of the big backyard and he asked, What will we do when this place closes? I don't think it's going anywhere any time soon, I said, though the crowd was slow for a Saturday, and he said, Yes, but one day, where will we go? He walked me the half-block home and kissed me goodnight on my stoop. Properly. Not too quick. Close enough, our stomachs pressed together in a second sort of kiss. I live next to a bar that's not a gay bar, we just call those bars, I guess. And because it is popular and because I live on a busy street, there are always people who aren't queer people on the sidewalk on weekend nights. Just people, I guess. They were there last night. And as I kissed this man, I was aware of them watching and of myself wondering whether or not they were just but I didn't let myself feel scared. I kissed him exactly as I wanted to, as I would have without an audience, because I decided many years ago to refuse this fear, an act of resistance. I left the idea of hate out on the stoop and went inside to sleep, early and drunk and happy. While I slept, a man went to a gay club with two guns and killed 49 people. Today, in an interview, his father said he had been disturbed recently by the sight of two men kissing. What a strange power to be cursed with. For the proof of men's desire to move men to violence. What's a single kiss? I've had kisses no one has ever known about, so many kisses without consequence. But there is a place you can't outrun, whoever you are. There will be a time when. It might be a bullet, suddenly the sound of it, many, one man, two guns, fifty dead, two men kissing. Last night. I can't get away from imagining it. Them. The people there to dance, to laugh and drink, who didn't believe they'd die, who couldn't have. How else can you have a good time? How else can you live? There must have been two men kissing for the first time last night. And for the last, and two women, two and two people, who were neither brown people, which cannot be a coincidence in this country, which is a racist country, which is gun country. Today I'm thinking of the Bernie Boston photograph, Flower Power, of the Vietnam protester placing carnations in the rifles of the National Guard and wishing for a gesture as queer and simple. The protester in the photo was gay, you know. He went by hibiscus and died of AIDS, which I'm also thinking about today because the government's response to AIDS was a hate crime. Now we have a president who names us the big and imperfectly lettered us. And here we are, getting kissed on stoops, Getting married, some of us. Some of us getting killed. 
We must love one another whether or not we die. Love can't block a bullet, but neither can it be shot down. And love is, for the most part, what makes us. In Orlando and in Boston and in Kabul. We will be everywhere, always. There's nowhere else for us or you to go. Anywhere you run in this world, love will be there to greet you. Around any corner there might be two men. Kissing. A Poem for Pulse by Jameson Fitzpatrick Please be a light in this dark world. We need more light. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>